today, we're adding texture and possibilities to our illustrations by attaching cotton balls to the artwork. A lot of us might look at these cotton balls and conclude that they can be used for just clouds. Just draw a sky and glue on some cotton, you've got yourself some clouds. But we don't have to limit ourselves to only clouds. There is so much more going on with the materials we have. You can pull apart the ball and create thin spider webs or wispy blades of grass or snowflakes or blossoms. Simply glue small portions or chunks of your cotton and then draw around it and see how else your artwork can turn out. When we're careful not to stop short on the first thing we see, we're opened up to all kinds of good and beautiful endings. There's a story in the Bible about a woman named Mary. She was feeling sad and confused and scared as she went to see the grave of her friend, Jesus. Jesus had been killed only a few days earlier, and all of his friends and followers didn't know what to do with this sad ending. When Mary saw that Jesus' tomb was empty, she stopped and got even sadder. Someone has stolen him, she thought, as she started to cry. Mary didn't know that this sadness, this emptiness, was not the end of the story. Because just then, Jesus, who had already risen from the grave, appeared to her. Why are you crying? he asked her, but Mary didn't recognize him. She had made up her mind and couldn't see that the very sad ending she had expected wasn't the ending at all. So finally, when Jesus said her name, Mary, she opened her eyes and realized the good news before her. Jesus had risen. Jesus was alive. Jesus was standing right in front of her, and the sadness and shadows and emptiness that had felt so big and permanent were not the end of the story. As we worship this morning, Let's not limit ourselves to the first thing we see in these cotton balls. As we remember the limitless love of God that appears in new ways for us, in us, and through us.